The file picker enables files to be uploaded, selected, and displayed in Moodle. For example, when you add an attachment to a forum post, upload an assignment, or when you want to add an image to a page, you use the file picker. Anytime you see the Add button, you are accessing the file picker. Here is what it looks like when you want to add an attachment to a forum post. Once you click the Add button, the file picker opens. There are links to repositories that hold files you may want to use. The most common repositories in use are server files and private files, but there could be additional repositories. Use the uploaded file link when you want to upload a file to Moodle. Clicking on server files takes you to other areas of Moodle where files have been uploaded. You will only see files and folders for the courses you have permission to access. To access a file, drill down through the file directory. To add a file to Moodle, click on Upload a File. Then browse to choose a file from your computer. Once you have chosen the file, click Upload this file. Your file has now been added to Moodle. When you are in your course and add a file, that file is added to the server files repository. You can also upload files to My Private Files, your personal storage space in Moodle. You can access files stored in My Private Files repository from within any Moodle course. So you can add your frequently used files to My Private Files and then use them in more than one course in Moodle. You don't have to upload the file each time you want to use it in a course. Access My Private Files from the file picker or from your profile in the navigation block. Click on Manage My Private Files if you want to add, download, rename, move, or delete a file. After clicking Manage My Private Files, you can hover the pointer over the file and choose an action from the menu. When you want to add a file to My Private Files, click on Add. This opens the file picker. Now browse your computer to find the file you wish to upload. Once it has been uploaded, you still need to click Save Changes to save the file to My Private Files. One more thing about file management in Moodle. If you have a number of images to upload, or if you are using other media files, such as video or audio, contact your CTET instructional designer for advice. In some cases, these file types should be uploaded to Royal Roads Media Server instead of Moodle.